Hello everyone, I'm the Belgian Theorizer, and this is my first theory. Well, maybe you don't know, but I love comic books. And there's one series which has a special place in my heart, Urbanus. This is especially because my mother really likes it. Like, she was a great fan. Um, well, my theory is about this guy here. He's Caesar. Yeah. It is the father of the main character, Urbanus, and this is Euphrasy. It's Urbanus' his mother. But I, I'm focusing on this character. And my question is, how much does he drink? Well, Caesar is an incredibly... is al an alcoholic. Most of the comic books we see him, he's mostly drinking, smoking, and loving other women. It even... the back of this comic book even says it. Als vader is Caesar geen goed voorbeeld voor Urbanus, hij werkt niet, drinkt de hele dag, kijkt nog gra graag naar andere vrouwen, en verwacht dat Euphrasy hem om zijn wink bedient. That roughly translates to, as father, Caesar is not a good example for Urbanus, he doesn't work, drinks all day, loves to look at other women, and expects that Euphrasy always listens to her, well, always serves his will. Google Translate it. Um, so he drinks a lot, but how much does he drink? It's hard to know. In a standard comic book, we it can extremely vary. Sometimes we just see him drinking two glasses of beer, but sometimes he, some comic books show him drinking a crap ton, like whole pallets of beer within a very short time. And one thing is clear, this is impossible. There are two numbers I want to address. First, an actual number was 274 pro million alcohol in his blood. That was his record achieved at his local cafe. What the fuck? 274 pro mil alcohol is 27.4% alcohol in his blood. I'm not a scientist, but that's impossible. It's just impossible. With 27.4% alcohol in your blood, your red blood cells would stop functioning, your liver would break down, all your organs could not handle such amount of amount of alcohol, and he would probably die. But he seems just fine. If you read the comic book, he's actually a pretty healthy character. Well, not super healthy, but look at his drawing. He doesn't seem as an actual alcoholic or anything. He seems pretty okay. But that's impossible, especially when we look at the second number. 98% of his, of his body was alcohol. This was a number given to a professional doctor called... Dr. Kattenbach feeling, which is huh? hilariously means Dr. Kitten Litter. Yeah, Dr. Kitten Litter. <laughs> well, he examined him and stated that number, which was still impossible, but maybe plausible. He went to a cafe, drank eight beers, reckoned standard, drank, gave, got three other beers from his friends and God who knows how, many, how much he drank after that. He ate Stoffles, which, which is a dish that can contain alcohol, beer pub, which is just stew with beer in it. He got two beers as, as an aperitif, I guess, an aperitif, I don't know, sorry. Just the drinks that you get before you eat, like Kava. Um, but what happened is that this had an effect on him. He started to burp and, well, hiccups too hard. He couldn't get breath, which is kind of like extreme, but he got just fine. 
And even when he was unconscious, he was mumbling, Durst. Durst. He wanted more alcohol. He was composed of out of 98% of alcohol. That's insane. That's impossible. Because that would mean that all the water in your body would be alcohol, plus a few vital organs. If a creature has 98% blood in it, uh, I mean alcohol in his body, it doesn't exist. Well, he could live technically, but then his body would need to inflate so much that it would just blow up. And a lot of beer would come out of his body. And blood. <laughs> so, yeah. But those are extreme numbers. We need to know how much he, he drinks on a regular basis. It's hard to know, but one comic book gives a great hint. Geekabonus. It's a pretty cool comic book. It's a crossover with another famous series, Geekaboo. And what happens is that he visits the neighbors. He visits neighbors. And he gets an iced tea as a gift. He drinks it, spits it out, and says, Alcohol vrij brol niet te zapen. Which means alcohol-free bullshit not drinkable or not consumable. Something without alcohol is not drinkable according to him. Which means that all he drinks is alcohol. Like, literally. Um, that would mean, let's just say he drinks two liters a day. Two liters a day of beer. And I know that a um, beer glass is, I guess, 0 0.7 pro mil. I don't know it. Correct me, correct me in the comments if you want it. Um, that means that you have 10 glasses of beers of 200 milliliters. I'm metric. I'm metric. I don't know how much, I really don't know shit about Imperial, so please look it up if you want to know how much 200 milliliters is. That's 10 glasses of 200 milliliter, which translates to 7 pro mil a day. But I think that he likes drinking, so let's just assume he drinks 3, maybe 4 liters a day, which mm, states that he has, well, let's just say 7 to 14 pro mil in his blood, always. Maybe during night his pro meals are still low, but he's never sober. And that's pretty insane. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Well, subscribe, because I'm going to bring a um, whole lot of theories that may be more interesting for the American audience. Well... That was it.